Hey, yo! Welcome back to Cloudy TV, you know what I'm saying? If you're new, welcome to Cloudyville, you know what I'm saying? If you like the video, enjoy your stay, you know what I'm saying? Well, if you like the video and enjoy your stay in Cloudyville, leave a like, you know what I'm saying? Today we got a video by Chilling Scares called Three Disturbing True Halloween Horror Stories, Volume 2. Y'all thought I was done with the scary videos, huh? Nah. Still spooky season, you feel me? Let's ride. Of course, I had to bring out more scary videos. Come on now. Halloween is still here. I ain't gonna lie. The new Halloween movie was butt. But, you know, it's cool. It'll probably be some more scary movies this coming out sooner or later. So. I was 14 years old and remember being especially excited for that year's Halloween. It fell on a Friday, meaning we could stay out later than usual. I was going to go trick-or-treating with my friend Matthew, after which we would go back to my house for a sleepover. I lived with my dad, who worked night shifts as a security guard. He was going to be gone pretty much from sundown to sunup, leaving Matthew and I to do our own thing. Matthew showed up at about 7pm, to which we quickly threw on some cheap costumes and headed out. Trick-or-treating in our neighborhood was always the worst. We lived in this foresty area where the houses were really spread out. We probably walked a good quarter mile between each door. But at the same time, I think the homeowners kind of realized this, as they would typically hand out larger amounts of candy to make up for it. Of course, we'd see other trick-or-treaters as we walked between houses, but not as many as you'd think. There weren't all too many kids living in the area. We'd been trick-or-treating for about two hours, when I noticed someone following us. It was either a grown man or a really tall kid, I couldn't tell. He had a Michael Myers mask covering his face. Nope. <laughs> nope. First of all, if somebody's following you or you feel like somebody is following you, most likely somebody's following you. You know what I'm saying? Just follow your gut because it can save you in a lot of situations to be real with you. You feel me? But y'all saying it's a tall man or a tall kid wearing a Michael Myers mask? Nah. Nah. At first, I thought he was I'd just run. treating like everyone else. But not even gonna lie to you, bro. Me. And it was just him. It wasn't like he was with his kid or anything. Yeah, see, I nah, told that's weird. about it, but he wanted to keep going. He reassured me that if the guy kept following us, we could go back. Go so back towards him? Houses. But the guy did continue to follow us. Something I picked up on pretty quick is that he wasn't even walking up to the house's front doors to get candy. He stayed behind us. Again, I told Matthew... This time I could tell he was a bit more on edge. Coming up was a shortcut through the woods, which led directly to my house. And y'all in the woods? We took it, sprinting as soon as we entered the woods. We had no idea if we were followed, but either way, we immediately started locking all the doors and windows. I remember I was upstairs locking my bedroom window, when I heard yelling from back downstairs. It was Matthew. I ran down to him. He was standing next to the living room window. I asked him what was wrong. He didn't say anything. Instead, he pointed outside the window. I followed his finger, squinting as my eyes adjusted to the darkness. All I could see were trees. I looked back at Matthew. What? He told me the guy in the Michael Myers mask was standing out there. Nah, no. nah, y'all gotta call the cops, bro. I really hope y'all caught the cops, bro. He followed y'all all the way back to y'all house, and he's literally acting like Michael Myers with a Michael Myers suit on, bro. At this point, I'm thinking in my head, this is Michael Myers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be real with you, especially just after watching the movie yesterday. I'm not saying the movie was all that good, because it really wasn't. It was, they messed it up. Let's be real, you know what I'm saying? The box office is not going to be happy with the numbers. Let's be for real. But this dude is acting exactly like Michael Myers. He's wearing the Michael Myers mask, and it's on Halloween, bro. Bro, if Red Flag, Red Flags was, was if there was a costume for it, you know what I'm saying? It would be the Michael Myers costume, you know what I'm saying? That's a huge red flag, you feel me? He followed you all the way back to the house, and y'all the only ones in there. I just thought he was trying yeah, to scare Y'all luck is very bad. I back, I actually saw him. Halloween, I'm staying in and He candy was deep in the forest, inside the house. covered by one of the trees, just standing there motionless. Nah, I went bro. to the kitchen to grab the phone. I called my dad as I walked I back like to the this window. Shit. When he picked up, I told him that there was a stranger outside in a Michael Myers mask. Well, what do you 
What is he doing? Acting like Michael Myers? I told him that he was just standing there, watching the house. Look, it's probably just some teenager trying to scare you. Just make sure all the doors are locked and ignore him. That was not the response I was hoping for. But I thought maybe he was... Shit, me neither, bro. That's your dad, bro. He d bro just responded like he... This happens to him every day, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just like, oh, just lock the door. You be all right. What, bro? I have Michael Myers... Uh, Michael Myers want to be acting exactly like Michael Myers because he wants to be him. And he's doing it very perfectly, and I'm scared, so I'm calling you to help me out. And you just going to tell, you basically just going to tell me, oh, Yo, you're going to be straight, just lock the doors. And I know, man, Halloween's been out for a long time. I'm pretty sure his dad was around when the first few came out. You know what I'm saying? So he know who this person is. You feel me? And he not worried about his kid. That's crazy. That's crazy. Matthew and I went upstairs you need to my a new room. dad, bro. Did our best to forget Your about dad is him. very low tier. But of course, it was pretty much all we could think of. Very about. low tier. We started trying to come up with reasonable explanations. This was interrupted by the sound of glass shattering from downstairs. My heart started racing. Neither of us nah, knew what to bro do. got in the house. The phone was back downstairs. We turned off the light and got into the closet. We shuffled to the way back, hiding behind hanging clothes. Bro got in the house. The next five minutes were completely silent. Then, footsteps entering the room. What the fuck is that in the back? He started walking around. My heart was racing. Y'all see that in, in the darkness? That's when bro, the door moving. slowly opened. I'm scared for a jump scare. A of just nothing. Until breaking the silence was Matthew screaming. <laughs> Nah, bro. I'm yeah. He's dead. I'm not even trying to be messed up, bro. I'm pretty sure, bro, is a goner. You hear your homie screaming after somebody just broke into your house. You know what I'm saying? First thing you have to think just to protect yourself is that my homie might be dead. You know what I'm saying? At that point, bro, your homie can't even be mad if he is alive and you didn't go back for him. Cause like, bro, what what am I gonna do? How am I gonna? How am I going to beat up a guy that just murked you, bro? That I think just murked you. That made you scream like that? You really think I could do something to a dude that made you scream like that? You feel me? And we both young, and it's on Halloween day, and he's wearing a Michael Myers suit, and he's acting like Michael Myers, bro. You expect me to go over there, down there, and fuck loyalty at that point. You know, It's not even about loyalty. You should be loyal to me as my homie to know, like, I wouldn't want my homie to come over here and do the same thing I just dealt with. You know what I'm saying? So, if you have a real friend, ask, ask your real friend right now. If somebody was hurting you, what do you, if somebody, if somebody that's bigger than you, bigger than both of us, you know what I'm saying? A lot scarier than both of us, you know what I'm saying? That made you scream the way that this dude screamed, you know what I'm saying? What do you what do you expect me to do? They answer will let you know if they're a real friend or not. And I'm gonna tell you this right now: the the, the good answer, uh, uh, a real friend type of answer, the person will be like, "Bro, I expect you to like go like save yourself." You know what I'm saying? Because if I die, I would need you to report it to my family so they know that I die. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're not alive and I'm not alive. There's nobody that can, uh, can, can can tell everybody else that we gone and somebody's out here murking us. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a real friend. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, go save yourself. Out of the Personally, right I wouldn't get in this type of situation. Anyway. Down. I'll try the not guy to. In the Michael Myers mask, now with a knife. Yeah, he's see, being nah. to the ground. But in the struggle, the guy dropped his knife. In a matter of seconds, Matthew was pinned down. I grabbed the knife and immediately stuck it in the back of the guy's thigh. Oh, so they scrambling. Okay, so he went back and saved his friend. You got up, and we started running downstairs. Oh, that's a real friend right there. <laughs> hey, look, y'all, I'm a real friend. It's just I want to, I want to survive. You know what I'm saying? I want to live to see another day. You feel me? So when situations like this going down, bro, you can't expect me to save you. I'm gonna just be. If you're not my brother, if you're not blood related, bro. Or somebody that I consider blood related, bro. You're not getting saved by me. Even then, you probably still wouldn't get saved by me, bro. I'm just being honest with you. I'm it's not good in these house. type of situations. When we got there, we banged on the door until they answered. 
We explained our situation, and they let us Bro inside. Bro really they went back and saved his friend. To make a long story short, the cops didn't find the guy. He was missing from the house when they arrived. Yeah, bro, this is some real Michael Myers shit, bro. A broken window and a missing kitchen knife. They looked for a blood trail, but never found one. I received no injuries, but Matthew wasn't as lucky. As he was struggling with the guy, he received a cut down his arm. Ooh. Even today, I still think about that night. Hey, man, if y'all liked the video, you feel me, leave a like. And if you enjoy just stay in Cloudyville, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? We only gonna do one story. We gonna keep these little stories short. I'm gonna put out more so it's, it's more content. You know what I'm saying? This is one story for y'all. And uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. You feel me? More scary stuff on the way. Please hit the noti bell so y'all know when I'm dropping videos because I'm gonna be dropping videos very sporadically. And I need y'all to really be prepared for the videos that's coming out man because it's gonna be some good videos you feel me i'm feeling a little bit more confident behind the camera so now like the more natural me is coming out i ain't as nervous no more you feel me so i just be letting shit kind of just flow off the brain you feel me i don't really because at first i ain't gonna lie bro i used to think about what what i'm gonna say before i say because i was like bro i don't want to say this and i'm wrong so i used to stutter a lot but now i feel good you feel me i don't even man be me you feel me but leave a like on the video if you love the video and subscribe if you enjoy just stay like i said you know what i'm saying you're always welcome back anytime any day i love y'all man see you on the next video bye bye